These are our first ever garlic scapes. So here we go. Oh. That is bursting with garlic flavor. Guten gardening, everybody. Well, directly behind me, I've got a three by six square foot bed filled with hard neck garlic that we purchased last fall from Keen Garlic. Now, for those of you who have never grown garlic before or hard neck garlic in this case, if you wanna check out our original video for planting this hard neck garlic, I highly recommend it because though we're new to the process, we followed the directions on Keen Garlic's website specifically and the results are a massive bed filled with garlic. And now here in mid-June, here in zone five, Wisconsin, we're ready to harvest the garlic scapes. Now we absolutely love garlic here at Guten Gardening, and this is our third attempt at growing. The first attempt we used store-bought garlic, it was a soft neck garlic. We planted just a few of them and the results were nice. We waited a little bit too long to harvest. That's something we're not gonna do this year, but we did get some results. The second time around, we used the same store-bought garlic and the end results were we got exactly nothing from that harvest. So last fall, I actually drove over to Keen Organics and I was fortunate enough to meet the owner himself and I talked to him about growing garlic. He directed me to his site, but he also answered a ton of questions for me. When you find somebody who knows what they're doing, who knows how to grow garlic in this case, you listen to what they have to say. We followed his directions and the bed that we have behind us is a direct result of that. And one of the things that he stressed in his conversation with me was, if you wanna have good results, you gotta start with a good seed garlic. And that's exactly what we did. We had a great organic seed garlic from King Garlic. And I'm gonna put a link to their website in the description in case you're interested in growing garlic yourself. Well. I've been following them on Instagram as well, and they talked about how mid-June in Zone 5 is the time to start gathering in those scapes for a couple of different reasons. And as I harvest the scapes, and these are going to be our first garlic scapes ever, as I harvest them, I'm going to talk you through some of the reasons why you'd want to harvest them and well, just some things about the taste as well, in case you've ever wondered what do garlic scapes taste like and how do we use them. Now, according to the Keen website, you'll know that your scape is ready to be harvested when it first curls, just like this one has done. If you wait too long, then it's going to eventually stand right back up. It's going to straighten the whole way back up, and that'll be about the time that it's actually ready to harvest the entire garlic itself. So when it's come to this point where it is curling, just like this one is, we're gonna take our thumb and our forefinger and we're gonna go down as low as we can. We don't wanna break off this leaf here with our thumb and forefinger, and we're just going to snap it off just like that. Hey, this is the first ever garlic scape that I've harvested, and there's a whole bunch more in here that we're gonna pull off. Now, here's something that we learned from our first time growing garlic, because it came time, just about time for harvest season with the soft neck garlic that we had out and all these other people were talking about harvesting their scapes. And I said, well, I guess we didn't get any scapes because I didn't realize that hardneck garlic are where you get the scapes. Now, according to Keen's website, you could potentially get a really weak or brittle kind of scape if your softneck garlic is stressed in some way. But this is a product for hardneck garlic. So if you really want to grow scapes, you need to grow hardneck. Now, one thing I'm noticing here is that not all of the scapes are at the same point of maturity. You see this one hasn't actually turned yet. Here, you can actually see what I'm talking about. It's not even as long. The base of it's not even as long. So it's not twisting, it's not turning yet. So this one, we're gonna wait a little bit longer on. This one, on the other hand, has turned. It's maybe not twisted as much as the first one we harvested, but I'm gonna go ahead harvest this one as well. Now I'm gonna to have to work through this entire patch and see which of the scapes are ready and which aren't. And I'm gonna go ahead and get as many harvested as I can. One of the things that I learned from the Keen website, and then I've certainly looked elsewhere and seen this as well, but the overall size of the garlic can be decreased if you don't harvest the scapes. Because harvesting the scapes allows you to refocus the energy back 
on the production of that garlic that's underground as well. But I also found it really interesting to learn that if you don't harvest the scapes, you could end up with a longer storing garlic because it's smaller. But I would go for the bigger garlic for sure. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my first taste ever of a garlic scape. Now I already know that homegrown garlic tastes much stronger, at least that's been our experience, limited experience, tastes much stronger than store-bought garlic when it's fresh. I have no idea how this scape is going to taste, but I'm gonna break off a piece because the rest of it I'm gonna use in a garlic scape pesto recipe. Again, that's on Keen Organics website. I'll have all of that linked in the description, but it looks and sounds absolutely delicious. But let's see what this scape tastes like. My first time ever eating one. I've never actually had garlic scape pesto from anywhere before. So here we go. Oh. That is bursting with garlic flavor. It's actually milder, I think a little bit milder than the garlic itself, but that that flavor just explodes. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, I'll have a little bit more while I'm talking to you. So we're benefiting the plant, the overall size of the garlic bulbs that are going to form. And we get this delicious byproduct. Now, something else I want to note, according to their website, you can keep these scapes in the refrigerator for up to about three weeks. But if you make them into that pesto, you can end up freezing it and that'll last for quite a long time. So that's one of the things we plan to do. Now's the time, mid-June here in zone five, where you're gonna see that. Again, that initial curl. Here, I'll show you the one that's curled really nicely because I've been eating off of this one, you can't see as well. Now we'll do another video where we talk about the harvest time and what to look for. And again, we're basing this on the expert knowledge of others, but I'm going to do a harvest video and we'll talk about what to look for to know when to harvest your garlic so that you get something that's gonna store for a long time. Because in talking to some of our community members, you wait a couple of days too long and the clothes start to separate and you're gonna end up with something that doesn't store very well. But that video is coming. I'm gonna show you one other thing that we have growing that we got from Keen Organic, a different kind of garlic, and show you where that's at right now. Now this one's just fun to say. This is our green garlic from Keen Garlic. And early on, this was supposed to be an early spring garlic. So it came up right away. For this one, we planted the entire garlic bulb and then we were just going to eat the greens that came up. And we did, we ate some of the greens that came up from this. The leaves still have a really great flavor. Now, another way to enjoy this green garlic, besides enjoying just the leaves, you can pull it up. It almost looks like a spring onion to me, but it's gonna be a nice garlicky taste. And so I'll peel back that outer layer here and there you have, much like a spring onion, a spring garlic that I can enjoy in much the same way. It's gonna have lots of that garlic punch to it, but this is something that's already ready to go. And I might leave some of it in here for a longer period of time to see what else develops off of that, but these are gonna be fantastic in our recipes. Oh, by the way, Father's Day is coming up, and if you hadn't noticed, I changed shirts on you there really quickly. This is our Guten Gardner dad shirt. So if you're looking for something for that Guten Gardner dad in your life, or maybe you are that Guten Gardner dad, another way that you can support our channel and the growth of our channel by checking out the merchandise that we have available in our store. You know, I wanna go back to something I said toward the beginning of this video. I said that when you really wanna grow something well, you go to somebody who's an expert. You reach out and you find out the best practices, the best methods for growing and I am so impressed so far with how our garlic has turned out. I would say we ended up with about 85, maybe 90% of the garlic that we planted came up compared to 0% last year. That's not bad. And it is looking vibrant, healthy. Yes, we've been giving it some deep waterings a couple times a week because we haven't had rain here in Zone 5 Wisconsin for about four weeks now. It's been a long time. but because we've been keeping track of it, taking care of it. We fertilized it once the spring came around. We gave it another bit of fertilizer that they sell at Keen Organics. 
for the purposes of garlic, I think it's going to end up producing really well. If these scapes are any indication, we're gonna be set for some really delicious garlic here in about three or four weeks. So stay tuned for that. Folks, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and check out Key and Organic. But if you, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe. And most importantly, remember when you're with us, you are good to grow.